All right, now that you are familiar with the forensic tools, I'm just going to sort of skim through all, all, you know, just ride through everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm not skim through it, but just ride through it. Um, as you can see, it's something very interesting on the screen. If it's not interesting to you, then let me remind you why it is. How many of you are familiar with the Kimberly Wiles statements on Facebook? Remember, she said she was the one leaning on the bike board. I mean, leaning on the headboard behind Irene. She was the one that snuck away, played like she went to go get some ice. Now, if rather or not this person was you know faking like she is that person on the headboard or this could possibly be that person now I always said when I read that statement a long time ago when the first came out I always said yeah, you, you, you hide behind a fake name to hide your identity but yet you tell everybody where you're located in the video that always stuck out to me right but just to show you who they were talking about. But um, first we're going to go through with um, reading this statement. It says, but Tranesha. Tranesha is a member of the Facebook group that she was in doing her statements. So she was responding to Tranesha. If it was a setup, some of us didn't know. I promise you we didn't. The girl who had was on the headboard next to Irene sitting quiet and shocked guess who that was we didn't know shit you think we are happy with Monifa alright alright so this one here says watch the video at the end and I'm guessing it says you can see him in all black tussling the other guy laying on the bed with the white t-shirt remember the white t-shirt I showed you laying on the bed in the background and I assume that that was Kanika from the phone call saying that Kanika threw some guy on the bed and was kissing on him or whatever so I, I assume that was Kanika sort of laying on top of him or leaning on top of him you know we, we see the elbow the blue jacket the white t-shirt laying down on the bed so uh so it says the other guy laying on the bed with a white t-shirt is also the killer. He forces her out the room. Now another problem I have with that statement. One why she says that Kanika never made it out the room alive. Because security came with a cart and you know they, they took out in a garbage bag and a cart or whatever that, that, that you know goes. But you see what I'm saying that, that kind of stuck out to me. You know what I mean? It was like several things that they were saying was like sort of backtracking on what they hadn't already said. You know what I mean? But, um, and so it says, but the killer is the guy with the black suit. There's two that raped her. Now, a lot of people are saying that there's two people that raped her. One guy that she, well, some are saying that one guy you know she gave it to him and the other guy felt like hey man you know I, I, I gotta get that too so they saying that the, the, the one in the black suit is the one who killed her now I sort of so, showed you the suit at the end of my last video my mic got muted accidentally that was my mistake and uh, and I went in great details on that so I'm, I'm gonna recover I'm, I'm gonna cover that again all right, and um, sort of show you what they mean by black suit. Now I'm gonna show you two different guys that has on all black. But this particular person has on a black skin tight suit. 
like one of those thin tight shirts you know you know what i mean and it looks like a hoodie but it's just a skin tight you know type type of material so uh let's 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 get to it so now here you have here the so-called kimberly wilds now this is not monifa all right we all know that monifa she carried that damn ponytail around like a goddamn racehorse you know what I mean? That's not Monif. I was assuming when I first seen it, I said, well, damn, maybe that's the tall girl with the Adidas on. But there's no Adidas nowhere, no white design, no white logos, anything on this shirt. But what, what we're going to do is we going to put a little bit of forensics on it and we're going to go past this. All right. All right, so that's probably the best we're going to get with that. Kimberly Wiles, supposedly Kimberly Wiles, all right? Now, this black suit, let's get to it. First, let's get to the, let's get to the pet on the head. zoom out a little bit now you see how skin tight that is that's not that's not like a sweater like a big you know like a big sweater that's not like a you know you know a sweater that a nigga wear on the block or something like that you know what I'm saying or walk through like like Many other guys that's walking through the lobby and things like that, you know what I'm saying? They they got on big sweaters. When they got on them hoodies, they got on big sweaters. You know what I'm saying? It sort of sort of fit all right, you know what I'm saying? But this dude here, he got on like a skin tight. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a goddamn shirt. You know what I mean? So let's go a little further. He pat it on the head.
Then Irene proceeds to hand the phone over to Bree Bree. And Bree Bree pans the camera over. Because she knows that he's walking towards the door. Now what we're going to get is a glance at the back of his head. That's a glance at the back of his head. Alright. See if we can get a little more detail. So let's bring that back just a little bit. And zoom it back out. So as you can see, that's all black shirt. And that's the back of his head, right? Now, also, watch our ring glasses. She leaned forward. He's already in front of her and he's about to pat her head right about now. Ain't nothing but all black in her glasses. Nothing but all black. All right. Now let's get past that. Let's get to it. Now this is supposed to be Mike Mike. Now, I downloaded this picture off of Rosemont site itself. All right. The whole image file. One point something gigabytes. The whole image file. As you can see. See if I can bring this down. As you can see right up here. They have it titled as Mike. All right, so that's Mike Mike. Now let's get Mike Mike in the lobby. In the lobby, y'all already seen it. I understand that. Is that clear enough? I don't think I need to do any forensic on that. What I will do is put some magnifying on it. But I don't think I need to do any further forensic on that. What you think, might, might or not? Hmm? That's clearly Mike Mike. I mean, to me, I mean, that's clearly Mike Mike. So, the more interesting thing about this dude is Bree Bree. by the way you see the skinny sleeves the skin tight 
what shirt, maybe hoodie, look like in the back right there. So that's definitely the guy who patted her on the head. All right. Take what you will with it. Let's move forward. All right, so Bree Bree is about to walk out with this dude. Bree Bree also is about to walk out with a female. Now, on that interview with Zach and Irene, she says that Bree Bree leaves with someone. Leaves with a dude. Hey, Bri Bri. That's not because Bri Bri came back. Hold on. Even though she left with the guy, she ended up coming back. Yeah, because that was her rap. But also, in Bri Bri's statement, Bri Bri left with a female who didn't have a GPS. So is this the female in front of her, the deck chick, who so-called didn't have the GPS, and the guy that Irene really didn't want to go too much further into about details or who it is or whatever. She was, yeah, kind of skipping over it. Like, yeah, she left with the guy. Yeah, yeah. It's like she was about to go into it, but then she thought about it like, nah, we ain't gonna do that. She's already gone, though. She Both not. Part. Party got rocking, Bree Bree's on. She, a ride, a Uber? No, but she yeah. had left with the, with the gas, some of the gas. Okay. Two, she left. Okay. Okay, so Bree Bree's totally out of this. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So, Why not? Manifa and... Why hide him? Right. Okay. You see what I mean? Why hide his identity? I mean, if they just innocently left the building you know to go get a ride take a ride and go wherever the hell they was gonna go to go do whatever they was gonna do why is that such a big secret to who it was that she left with this got the same guy who patted you on your head why is it such a secret to who it was that she left with why All right, let's move further. This is an anonymous text message. You know what I mean? They're talking back and forth to this person, but a few things stood out to me. But this one thing I want to look at is the fact that this person says, but they're not blaming her because she was last seen with her they blaming her because she was grimy. They talking about Monifa. Everybody keeps saying Monifa was grimy. Monifa was grimy. They, they, this person he even said that Monifa stole from uh, Kanika at one point in time uh, some money out of the house. Now they're saying, now this is the interesting part. All right. Now they're saying that Monifa, after the disappearance of Kanika, okay, first of all, Kanika had this case called a Michael Kors case, all right, on her phone, a Michael Kors phone case. They saying that after the disappearance of Kanika, Monifa ended up with the case and told somebody else that Kanika gave her the case. Okay, so let's go further. She stole from Nika house before, but this is just what I've heard people talking about. She stole money from her before. The night we was at the party, when she first got there, she had a Michael Kors case on her phone. And people, blah, blah, seen Monifa. I guess they named the person who probably seen Monifa. Seen Monifa with it after Nika passed and it goes further down and says uh, she even told what J-Rock that Nika gave it to her but how 
And you're right. How? Now, let's get to this Michael Kors case. First of all, I want to show you this. Now, we're just going to run straight through this. All right? It, this is really uh, sort of uh, uh, self-explanatory. I mean, when you look at it, you'll see for yourself. See how this black one opens up? Now, it could have been a black one. It could have been... It could have been this one right here all right and that you you notice the the, uh, the little clip that flaps across it the black one is the same way flaps across and it opens like this you see what i'm saying there's no zipper so when you have your phone in it and you close it you can see the white edges around it okay 